Dorchester County is rolling out new technology at some of their buildings to make life for you a little bit easier. Cattle News Dorchester County reporter Stetson Miller tells us how that information, having it at your fingertips with our new public information kiosks, will make things easier. These new public information kiosks have been rolled out in Somerville and St. George over the last two weeks. These could help residents get in and out of county buildings more quickly, and it could help them when they're filling out forms like for property tax exemptions. So you can view those Dorchester the County has recently spent about $16,000 to install these new kiosks at its service buildings on North Main Street in Somerville and on Johnston Street in St. George. Officials say the new technology should help residents quickly get the information they need for county services, and it's part of an initiative to offer more technology to residents. Back in 2016, our strategic plan uh, that was adopted by County Council included some goals to expand technology uh, that's provided to our citizens. So this is one of the objectives that we had tried to obtain uh, to be able to provide some more self-service kiosks and portals for folks to be able to get information that they previously had to come into an office to obtain. When visitors use the kiosks, they can look up property tax bills, use a map to find out where different county departments are in the building, apply for county jobs, and look up events. As we continue to expand this, it'll allow folks to access resources uh, without necessarily waiting in a line. The county has also installed iPads in the assessor's office that will allow residents to digitally fill out property tax exemption forms. Later, the forms will also be available on the kiosks. Since they were introduced last month, 550 people have applied for the legal residence property tax exemption using the new technology. And these kiosks will be available at the county law enforcement complex, courthouse, and water and sewer buildings over the next few months. In Somerville, Stetson Miller, count on two.